Mod Shape Air 1000 here. Today we're going to try to put some uh, Freon in the old Nissan here. See if we can get some air working and see what the weather is going to do. I got to move the boat and I got some transmission fluid and a filter for this thing. We may do this, do that today or we may wait till tomorrow. But uh, let's go ahead and we're going to. Hit the intro, we'll get this fired up, see if we can get it to take some free on. Alright, the rain's coming. I gotta hurry this up. Alright, while the rain's here, let me get this on the charger. All right, I got you way back here under the eave. I'm gonna go start that up and so you're zoomed way in. cooling down in there now but the rain's here so I'll have to uh, get this stuff moved out of the way get the boat moved out of the way so I can get this under there and then um, by then the transmission should be getting warm get all that fluid out of there Okay guys, so I got a 19 millimeter here. We're going to drain this first before we take all the bolts out of the pan. It's a 19 millimeter on this one. doesn't smell burnt I did get some stuff to put in there okay guys I don't know what you've seen of that but I took the drain plug out it was a 19 millimeter um, then we'll take I'm gonna let this drain for a little while and then we'll take uh, all the bolts around the pan out but it, it doesn't look bad and it doesn't smell burnt um, it does look it you know it has lost its color but it doesn't smell burnt burnt i did get some stuff to put into the uh to help help it shift like an additive i did get some of that stuff and uh we'll try it but let me go ahead and let this drain for a while and then i'll be back with you guys okay guys now i'll put this drain plug back in <sighs> I got all the bolts taken out, I believe, except for these two here at the back. Whatever you do, don't cross thread these. Alright, let's take these two out. Now, 
I must be missing one up front. Oops. Right there. Right behind that line. So what I'm going to do... Put one of these back in. Just so it doesn't drop all at once on me. That should do it. this out. You guys recording? Yeah. Okay, now, let's set this here for now. We gotta clean that all out and inspect it. There's a magnet here that collects any metal shavings, which there's always gonna be some, and there is some in this one. I don't know if it's a lot or not, but. All right, now. We're going to take this out. There's one. Let's see. One. Two, three, four. Looks like. To take this filter down. Also 10 millimeter. I'm betting the filter's not going to be bad. You know, like clogged or anything. Oh no. dirty but the screen and the filter itself looks fine I probably could have got by with just changing the fluid but this was like 20 bucks for the kit so I went ahead and bought the kit there's an o-ring on here it's got to make sure you get it right okay I'm gonna Go ahead and get this out of here, and then I'll kick you guys back on in a second. Okay, guys. I'm using my uh, DJI action cam under the truck because this one won't fit. That screen is in really good shape. It does have... I don't know if you can see that swirl. There is some metal in here. Especially around this magnet. I'm not sure what's normal on these Nissans, if that's a lot or not, but 
either way we had to do something with it so we're going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this out I'm not going to bore you with that uh, I'm going to clean it out clean the gasket off of it and then uh, we'll put the new filter on which is in the other truck and then uh, we'll fill it up with fluid and take it for a drive and see if it shifts good um, hopefully it does I mean it doesn't slip it doesn't smell burnt so I'm guessing it's going to shift all right sorry you were zoomed way in so yeah anyway let me get on to that let me get this cleaned out and then uh, yeah then we'll go from there now what I like to do these magnets are removable you can take them out and clean them real well to hold this pan, this pan gasket on I like to start all my bolts at least start four corners and that'll help hold your gasket because they'll screw or push up you know through that gasket and that gasket will hold them screws on for you and the screws or bolts of course will hold the gasket into place for you at least you know get a couple around there so that way you know your gasket's going to be right um, you can use a little dab of permatex like on four corners if you want it's not it's not a big deal just let it dry up real good but this is how I like to do it really works well so I'm going to put a couple more in there then we'll go put the new filter on here's the new filter <coughs> excuse me then we'll go put this on I like to put a little bit of something around there some kind of lubricant I just usually use the transmission fluid put my dab my finger in the fluid put it around there just keeps that from ripping and uh, yeah you're good to go so first things first I got to get my magnet and get that other bolt for the filter out of the oil pan that I dropped in there and then I'll turn you back on on the uh, action camera I don't know how much of that you can see it's kind of dark under there but uh, I don't have any lights on or anything I'll lighten it up the best I can but you'll you'll get an idea and um, we're gonna go ahead and put that back on then we'll get this pan on okay so I got the bolt out of there let's put a little little bit of lube on that rubber o-ring there now let's put this up in here make sure you got them wires up out of the way Just give it a pop like that with your hand it won't hurt anything it'll go right up in there son of a okay well I guess I'm gonna have to dig that one back out Now this is not a flush guys a flush of course is always better but that's going to take a lot more time and you're going to need special tools to get because you got to hook onto your lines and get the fluid out of your 
tank that's inside the radiator. That's what keeps your transmission cool. And also, it's hard to get it out of the uh, torque converter 100% anyway unless you pull that transmission. Now these don't have to be super duper tight. I'm just going to run them up here with this. It's just a couple little clicks. And that's good enough. Alright, now I'm going to go get the pan. And we're going to put the pan up in there. First, let's move this out of the way before I drop something else in it. And, uh, you know what? I'm just going to run over and grab that pan. And we're going to put that up in there. I'll just cut that part out real quick. Let me go get the pan. All right, so there's 18 bolts around this. <clears throat> like I said, you saw me put a cup in to start to help hold that gasket. what I'm going to do is I'm going to put oh man put my extension on here are greasy <sighs> gotta try to get this little thing off here hang on I'll be back with you okay I'm back let's try this again this to start my bolts. That way it holds a pan up there for me. Now I can move the sweat rag out of the way. Alright, so you see what I'm doing. I'm just going to go ahead and start these up here. Then I'll get the other ones filled in the blanks. And then, uh, then I'll, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten them up by hand. I'm going to use that little ratchet wherever I put the little ratchet at um, so anyway yeah I don't know what I did with it I got a little short ratchet under here I gotta tighten that plug back up anyway and then uh, then I'll be back with you when we start dumping fluid in okay guys let me grab my phone Let me find a different funnel. Okay guys, I gotta use this thing. <laughs> but that's all right, so this is gonna take me a while. 
this is just like a stop leak and it's supposed to help with harsh shifting it's probably a waste of ten bucks but so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna keep doing this until I get about four or five quarts in there and then we'll start it up and check it I'll be back with you then cuz yeah even sped up this 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 would be grueling
Okay guys, so that'll about do it for today. Um, seems to be doing okay now. Um, when I first took off, it was still kind of doing it. And the more I drove it up and down here, the better it got. So, it's not 100%, but it's about 98%. So, yeah, I think, uh, I think now it just needs to run a little bit. Drove around, put a hundred, couple hundred miles on it, and then uh, change that fluid again, just the fluid, and I think it'll be fine. So it's not slipping or anything, and it downshifts good. It's upshifting a lot better now. Um, so yeah, especially when you're just driving it normal, it shifts. It shifts pretty good. So, um, but that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching, guys air conditioner works great in this thing <laughs> I said that just as monkey walked out her air conditioner is not working so <laughs> it works but it's got a leak so alright I'm gonna call it a day thanks for watching guys Shea Bear the Myth the Man the Legend I'm gone for now we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye everyone take care stay safe we'll see you soon